Indian alcohol officials have revoked an east side bar's permit after a mass shooting over the weekend killed one person and injured five people, including a police yeah. officer. Fox 59's Michael Van Scoik joins us tonight after doing a deep dive into this bar's troubled past. And Michael, you've uncovered a number of concerns prior to Sunday's shooting. Yeah, it stems actually beyond the current owners. And today, authorities with the state's Alcohol and Tobacco Commission decided to revoke 1111 Barn Grill's liquor permit. Now, the state says effective immediately, the East Washington Street Bar can no longer serve alcohol, but this troubled spot had even been on IMPD's radar under previous ownership for violations ranging from gambling to public nudity, and records show those violations kept stacking up right until Sunday's shooting. Bullet holes still leave their mark along the shattered glass windows outside 1111 Bar and Grill. You'll also see this bright orange sign taped by the front door. It's a public notice of application for an alcoholic beverage permit. 1111 Bar and Grill had been operating under the previous owner's permit, Fusion Ultra Lounge. But on March 4th, the Marion County Alcoholic Beverage Board voted 2-1 to one to deny the transfer of ownership and the renewal of an alcohol permit. I don't think we can wait any longer to see what else this turns into. This followed a drastic range of violations under the bar's previous owner and the current owner. We've got Luca, we've got alleged marijuana use inside the building. We've got not even many meeting the minimum food requirements and you've got children in there. Then the Indiana Alcohol and Tobacco Commission voted on March 19th to deny the transfer of ownership and an alcohol permit renewal. And just days later, 11, 11, bar and grill. On Sunday, March 24th, police responded to a shots fired call around 1.30 a.m. We're going to need about four or five ambulances here. Control 344, we're probably going to have at least four people shot. One officer. Five people were injured in the shooting, including an IMPD officer. One man died. Two days later, on March 26th, the State Alcohol Tobacco Commission revoked the bar's permit, which means it can now no longer sell or serve alcohol effective immediately. Now, the business was locked today when we stopped by. It's still unclear if it will continue to operate at all following this decision. Meanwhile, an Alcohol and Tobacco Commission spokesperson confirmed that Indiana State Excise Police are still investigating last weekend's shooting. In the studio, Michael Van Skoik, Fox 59 News.